Hello class, good day! Welcome to another Hydraulics Laboratory Series by your story Sir Bogart. Today we'll be talking about emptying time of tanks. Quick application. So, saan ba may mga tanke? Your usual tanks are in your subdivisions. We will talk about it in your water distribution systems in uh, water resource engineering. But basically, uh, in order for you to have an efficient water uh, tank system, dapat you can determine the emptying time, the, the discharge rate, and how can you distribute it to every household. Another large scale uh, application of this is your uh, coastal vessels. For example, your retaining walls. Uh, essentially, you can, uh, before you build walls for your coastal structures or coastal vessel, imagine this is a shore. This is your village, this is your uh, shoreline. Uh, Retain wall, sea wall, then uh, harang, you block the uh, water, then you empty, you create a vessel, you create a, uh, you created the tank, and then you empty it, okay, you empty, and eventually, lay the foundation, buhusan, sementohan, bakalan, then pag okay na, uh, balikan tubig, you have now your, um, seawall, your retaining wall structures. So it's, it's an application of your emptying time. Why you need to uh, deter, why do we need to determine for efficiency of your uh, hydraulic structures? Okay? Now, um, we've talked about before that the coefficient of discharge is basically the actual over the theoretical discharge. So I hope you can remember this. If you, if not, you can uh, review our past videos. Okay. Using the multiplication property of equality, you can simply have um, the theoretical or the actual discharge is equal to the coefficient of discharge multiplied by the theoretical discharge. Now we have an idea already that the actual or the theoretical uh, discharge is simply what? The area of the orifice multiplied by the uh, velocity of your jet which is square root of 2 GH. Okay? So from the previous uh, lecture slides I hope or lecture I hope you remember this uh, expression. Now let's look on our diagram in order for us to uh, visualize properly. Now, we have an idea that this will be, uh, will be our H, right? Okay. <clears throat> but then, the height will be dependent on your time. So it is changing while you are emptying it. Okay? So take note of that. By now, you also have an idea that the actual discharge, let's try to look this simply to be your volume over time, right? And as we said from the diagram, that the volume, I hope you can imagine this already, class, that the height is changing, but our cross-sectional area, assuming that our tank is a cylinder, as a cylindrical vessel, the area is not changing, Okay? Therefore, we have um, area multiplied by delta H over the time is also changing, thus we have delta T. Now, one thing that is missing here in this expression, take note that your change or the changing environment is going downwards. We don't want to go down. That's why it's negative, okay? We always go up. But then, for this uh, uh, term, Let's put it there. So the height is changing as your time uh, changes. So we can uh, equate the two. Now, area multiplied by your delta negative dh over dt is simply equal to your actual or theoretical discharge cd area of orifice multiplied by your velocity. Okay? Solving further 
we can have dt is equal to area multiplied by your negative changing height multi over your coefficient of discharge area of orifice and your area uh, velocity of your jet okay so what can we do here take note class that this term is all constant okay so we can assume this variable to be letter b okay for us to simply rewrite so we will have dt is equal to b multiplied by uh square root or h um, negative 1 over square root of h uh, dh okay now in order for us to cancel the derivatives we simply integrate both sides okay so dt being a function Emptying time, first full, so you will start at 0, then you will end at t, your upper limit. It will be 0, uh, it will be t to 0. Okay, now for your beta, uh, for your delta h, that will be h1, um, upper limit h2 to h1. So that will be uh, h2 h1 not okay to simply okay so integral of dt that is very basic that will be for give us t from uh, 0 to t capital t okay now this one um let's remove negative 2b first integral of square root of h 1 over square root of h so that will be um h is to negative 1 half plus 2 over 2 okay over the exponent plus 2 over 2 so I hope you can review your integral class that will be lower limit h1 to upper limit h2 okay now solving further we will get 0 minus t is equal to negative which ah sorry class this is already I already converted this so negative one half that will give us uh, division of fractions okay negative one half uh, one divided by negative one half will give us negative two so that will be uh, okay, negative two b <coughs> um, this will be give us uh, h over base to one half from h1 to h2 okay let's rewrite properly negative t is equal to negative 2b square root of h h2 minus square root of h1 okay h1 now we can simply tell that the datum will give us a value of h1 to be 0 okay so empty then we will get uh, cancel also negative t is equal to 2b square root of h2 okay then finally put back your b it gave us t is equal to 2a 
all over CD, area of the orifice multiplied by 2 GH. over your height. Initial height. H2 is your initial height. So that will be Thank you class, and that is your emptying time for your vessels.